we we couldn't do much we just have to um we have to stay off the locations right now okay because um, health they say is wealth and we don't just want to we don't want to take things for granted you know um moving about from one location to the other would expose okay. most of the cast and crew to a lot of uh, risk and you know when they are on location the makeup artists will use um, some handkerchief to dab the sweat off their faces you know you don't know who is who so we just have to suspend everything for now uh, even with this partial um, relapse of um, the lockdown there is nothing we could do because this virus is still very much out there and um, we just have to keep ourselves safe yeah so um yesterday we we opened on okay, monday we opened our um our office partially we opened partially uh that is the journalist market because for the past um six weeks or so we've not been able to we've not been, we've been able to take care of um as much as we have wanted to you know most of our vendors who are selling on our um, online marketplaces are having physical shops and all these stores are locked down as well so all the others we have during this um, pandemic uh, lockdown period we we could not take those orders because our vendors too are on uh, on lockdown so we open to business on monday partially we work from um the hours of nine in the morning to 2 p.m and um, we are working at about 60 percent capacity right now so that is just um, a few things that we have been into it's not been easy because these um this pandemic locks down so many opportunities you know it disturbs a lot of businesses but as they say it is when you are alive that you can plan to do businesses when one is dead and gone then everything ends so we just have to um uh, obey the governmental authority and other agencies that have been put in place to regulate our safety and then we we adhere strictly to the instructions to keep ourselves safe that is true uh can you also share with us what your experience has been in the last few uh i think close to a year now that you've been going on location you've interacted with the marketers interacted with the players in the industry what's uh, oh, well. Right, right. It's it's been it's been good. It's been good. Um, you know, I have the opportunity of um, you know meeting with a couple of um, uh, actors in the field. Most times, a lot of them don't know me as the executive producer of the, of those movies because I would just be there. You know, I would just be there as uh, <laughs> that is my style. But I've had dealings with a couple of them. You know, and we've had really um, a nice uh, chart you know telling them what we have in store what John Lee's film has in store for them after this whole uh, pandemic we are coming to the industry with something new something that um, something that is indigenous and it will, we, are, we are bringing entertainment into the doorpost of everybody at a ridiculously affordable price you know nobody can beat that right now in the in the entertainment industry so to speak so we are launching our online movie platform very very soon you know this um COVID thing is delaying our launching uh activities but then we are working at the back end to ensure that by the time this whole thing will be off and gone then we'll hit the ground and then we'll launch our movie um platform for everybody and we uh we have our standard we cannot um cannot come below the standard that we are setting for ourselves you know this actually makes a lot of actors that i have interacted with makes them happy because um you know, we have a couple of um, other um uh, entertainment platforms that have let down their guard you know uh, we have standard we have standard and any movie that we will be putting on our uh, movie platform are going to be movies that are educative movies that are i mean i mean the best something that movie that you can learn one or two things from so we are working we are doing fine we are doing fine but i tell you uh these uh, uh 
COVID-19 really, really messed up things. It messed up a lot of But we are thankful to God that we are alive. We are alive. What are, what are the, what would be the message or the messages you want to send across to your listeners, those watching you now? What are the lessons you should all learn? What are the, what are the takeaways, like you say? Okay, yeah. Um, the message is just simple. We have to keep ourselves safe. Yes, we want to. We want to achieve so much. Everybody, everybody keeps saying uh, we are hungry. We want to go out. See, it is when we are alive we can do all of these things. I have um, a couple of people outside of Ni of Nigeria, and the rate at which this pandemic is hitting them, we are not ready for this in Nigeria. I just pray that um, God helps us to, you know, arrest this situation, we will be fine. We will eat. We will eat to our satisfaction when this is over and we are alive. So to those who are watching us right now, I just want to appeal to every one of us to please stay home, stay calm, stay safe. Um, even if we are able to see Gary and drink once a day, it is better. I know God will continue to provide for our means to... Um, I mean, to, to sustain ourselves from now into the time that everything will be fine because this came in as a shock to everybody. Nobody prepared for this. And that is one thing that is really affecting so many people. I can understand that. Nobody prepared for this lockdown. You know, if, if as at um, January, somebody says, ah, by March, April, this is what is going to happen to Nigerians, we will tell the person, go go and sit down but now it is happening it is happening so it has happened and we just have to live by it we have to keep ourselves safe that is the ultimate thing we have to be safe for ourselves for our families for our acquaintances and all that we just want to keep ourselves safe money money will come after this whole thing business will flow it will pick up gradually but it is when we are alive that we can get ourselves involved and get engaged with all of those things John Lee's films is coming into the industry at a time when everybody's complaining that um, films are not selling, that all the uh, producers are complaining. That, uh, how, do you, how do you intend to correct all of that? How do you intend to survive in the, in, in the middle of what they claim to be a major crisis rocking the industry? Oh, well, um, that's a nice question, sir. Um, in 2000 and 2017, then I was, I was still out of Nigeria. I came into Nigeria to um, have one or two discussions with some marketers in Lagos. You know, I made my intention known to them, to just a few of them. And um, what I had in mind then is quite different from what they thought I wanted to do. Okay. So I, I told them, okay, looking at the way things are going, there was a time, I think in the, in the 90s, we were using VHF, that uh, cassette, video yep. cassette. That is what yep. we were using then. Now, the world has migrated from video cassettes to video CD, now to DVD, and gradually, the DVD would be phased off very, very soon. This will be phased out of what we are seeing now.